Welcome back to Dorothy's Kitchen. I have a delicious recipe that I want to share with you today. This is something I recently came up with after I realized I probably shouldn't feed my son any more Pillsbury Pizza Pops from Costco, or at least not as many as he wants to eat. So I decided to come up with my own version of Pizza Pops for him. These are a slightly healthier version because I can control all of the ingredients that go into these. So I start by making the dough. And also another reason they're healthier is because they're air fried. So here I am just whipping up a quick dough. It's kind of a, what I call a wetter dough than regular bread dough. And I then put in all the fillings that I know my kids will like. Uh, we usually like pepperoni and Hawaiian. So those are the fillings that I chose for this recipe, but it's very versatile. You can add in whatever floats your boat, as they say. So whatever fillings you like best, you can definitely use this. So maybe some green pepper and other things like that. You could definitely add those in. I actually didn't even put any spices. Normally I would put kind of a version of a pizza spice or an Italian spice but I decided to leave these relatively neutral. So that's what makes this recipe nice. You can adapt it for your own family and to the own, your own fillings and spices that you like best. I just shared what I put into this particular version. I actually <clears throat> switch up the cheeses quite a bit. Whatever I have on hand is what I use. This time I used kind of a marble cheddar, but I have used mozzarella, and cheddar, you could use um, just straight mozzarella, whatever you like best. So basically I just roll out each of the pieces of dough one at a time and once I have that I start adding the fillings and assembling them. So you can make these different for different family members or half and half, whatever you like. I used marinara sauce, you can also use pizza sauce, so these you know are not super spicy which my kids always think everything is spicy so I have to make it relatively neutral for them but you'll see here an important tip is that I didn't put the filling or the sauce all the way to the edge I leave about uh, maybe a quarter of an inch to half an inch of a space around the entire circle so that none of the fillings will spill out and they can get a nice seal by just using a little fork. I actually use one of my kids forks to make this. So I just go around the edge with the fork to seal this up the way you would maybe like a pie shell. So it works really well and nothing really much comes out. Uh, maybe a little bit of cheese depending on how you heat that or how long you're heating it for. Another nice thing is you can put an egg wash on top here and that gives it that nice crisp brown coating. And you can either air fry these, like I said, which is what we prefer, or you can bake them. So that's another reason that this is a very versatile recipe. Hope you'll give it a try. Thanks for watching and I hope you'll subscribe to Dorothy's Kitchen for more great recipes.